Hello, this is a video on how to change the default IP address of the new BT Hub as sent out, or EE Hub as sent out in uh, October 2023 or later. Um, so this isn't the Hub Pro, the one that does multi-gigabit WAN, um, but this is just the, the successor to the normal BT uh, Hub. So you need to go to its default IP address of 192.168.1.254 go to advanced settings and then go to my network fill in the password which is the uh, very badly fonted uh, words on the bottom left of the uh, card that you can pull out of the side of the router and then log on then at the top go to IPv4 configuration where it's got hub gateway IP address you can click on that and then change that to be whatever IP address you would like it to be. In this example, I've got 192.168.0.1 and I've got two command prompt boxes which we'll look at in a minute once I've changed it, uh, where it should change from responding on its uh, 1.254 default IP address and should be responding instead on 0.1. So I'm going to press OK on that. The DHCP server range down here does not automatically change, so you need to click on that. Click on custom, and then click on the start address and the end address and change those to uh, the same range. And if you have a particular set of IP addresses, you will always want to be dynamic and you don't want to assign uh, above or below that, then you'd want to customize that as well. I'm gonna change the least time to something lower, of four hours. That you don't have to do unless you've got a reason for changing the lease time uh, for your use. Then I'm going to click on save. It's going to warn me that we're going to have to uh, renew all the devices, renew the IP addresses of the devices on your LAN and if you use the uh, complete Wi-Fi or hybrid connect or mesh Wi-Fi stuff you'll have to reboot those as well. And then again another one it will uh, lose, it'll cause you to lose connectivity. Now we need to ipconfig release, ipconfig renew, or uh, the, the lazy way would be to unplug and plug in the network cable, or uh, just reconnect to the Wi-Fi would also trigger a, uh, a renew of the IP address. So what we can see here on the right hand side, we've started responding on 192.168.0.1, and on the, sorry, left hand side, and on the right hand side, we've stopped responding to 192.168.1.254. That's now moved over. If I refresh this page on the uh, 192.168.0.1, we have the BT Hall Home, uh, sorry, BT Hubs web interface. So hopefully that's been helpful to you. That's how you change the LAN IP address of the BT Home Hub. If it has been helpful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. That would be really good. Thank you very much.